so i believe that structuring of thought and having that subconscious habit of creating points formulating them and then picking out the best points to express your view do help you in your interview preparation hi everyone welcome to another episode of rbi interview series 2022 Today I have Saurav with me, who has cleared RBI examination in his second attempt. A lot of students keep asking me, sir, non-UPSC aspirants, can we take some interviews? Leke aaye. We believe, and we have this assumption that only UPSC aspirants can clear RBI, and they do clear RBI. It's not completely correct. Yes, they do, but there are a lot of non-UPSC aspirants as well, like Saurav, who keep uh, hard, hard work, and clear RBI exam ko clear karte hain regularly. So, first of all, congratulations on clearing the exam. thank you sir uh the my first question is about uh, you know who you are as a person so if you can tell the students uh, what have you done educationally uh, uske baad work x mein kya kiya hai how did the inspiration come when you were working what were the challenges you faced what did you not like about your work so kahan se socha ki rbi ka exam dete hain so starting with my educational background i did my btech from iit delhi in 2019 and after that i started working for an mnc in india while working for an mnc i realized that there are a few aspects in in indian economy which i was unaware of and rbi has a very great role to play in the development and maintenance of these aspects that is the motivation that drove me that i want to work for an organization that can bring about such a vast change in the indian economy so that's the motivation that drove me to work for rbi to prepare for rbi grade b examination while working there i also realized that i want to have some hands on experience in the fintech domain and therefore i left my job at an mnc and started working in a startup in the fintech domain while also simultaneously um, studying and uh, working towards my aim of cre- uh, clearing the examination kabhi ye nahi socha ki जॉब छोड़ के एग्जाम की तैयारी कर लेते हैं बिकॉज यू आर वर्किंग द एंटायर टाइम व्हेन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दिस एग्जाम यस बीच बीच में देर वर अ फ्यू इंस्टेंसेस व्हेन आई थॉट कि जॉब छोड़ देते हैं इट वुड गिव मी मोर फोकस एंड मोर टाइम टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन बट एट द सेम टाइम आई रियलाइज दैट दिस वर्किंग एट दिस जॉब कुड ऑल्सो बी अ प्लस पॉइंट आई वॉज ऑलरेडी वर्किंग इन द फिनटेक डोमेन and there was no reason for me to leave it just so that i could prepare better for the examination if i can do the examination while doing my job and i can present this point in the interview then it would be more beneficial in my case plus while working at the job i could get hands on experience about the fintech domain what is happening at the frontier of this domain in the indian economic system and that also helped me in understanding that what could be the kind of questions that can be asked and it also helped me formulate my answers accordingly hmm. so you had this idea already in your mind ki interview mein what is going to happen or what might happen so you were preparing for that in advance right okay uh, coming to the first first uh, attempt that you took in 2021 so us attempt mein uh, you know how did you start your preparation and what went wrong because you could not clear prelims in your attempt first attempt yes um for phase 1 i started my preparation around october and uh, during that time i had a very clear understanding that i wanted to continue that i wanted to do preparation for phase 1 and phase 2 simultaneously for phase 1 i was very sure about my mathematics and logical reasoning and english so the only aspect that i worked upon was general awareness so general awareness i took uh, monthly pdfs of spotlight and a few other sources like drishti ias monthly pdf and they were enough to have a very good understanding one thing that i did was i created digital notes of all these uh, information hmm. so i don't have to go through the whole pdf again i can only go through my notes and see what is important and that helped in my revision for phase 2 a lot of um, a lot of material for phase 1 coincided with phase 2 in terms of general awareness hmm. so for phase 2 i had your notes the finance and man- management notes 
were more than enough to cover the whole syllabus. And the addition of a new subject called ethics. So there were topics provided about it and I read uh, about those topics from the books that were recommended in the notification itself. Hmm. For ESI, it was a different story altogether because hmm. ESI is very large. So I tried to limit my domain because I couldn't read everything. So I read your material, I finished through it and then the PIB 247 videos and the monthly PDFs compilation for the same. At the same time, government schemes play a very vast, uh, come as a very vast segment of the examination. So I went through the government schemes and revised them while making notes at the same time. So phase one may what went wrong because you cannot uh, go past it in your first attempt. Mathematics and computing background. So what exactly did you have in mind and how? why did it not work in the final exam? Yes. So in phase one, I had an understanding, an assumption that my mathematics and logical reasoning are very sound and I don't need to prepare for them. I had the same assumption for my English and it was only general awareness about which I, on which I prepared and there lacks the fault. I understand that it cannot be that uh, I understand that only preparing for general awareness will not clear this examination. I had scored very low marks in my logical reasoning and quantitative aptitude. And that was why I couldn't clear phase one. Mm -hmm. I had to restructure my preparation and work on these areas as well to clear the cutoff. So kya changes kiye? What did you think after your uh, phase one demise ki? Uh, what went wrong? What did I do wrong? What was the process like in your mind and on paper? After identifying my mistakes, I had a plan in mind and I executed it. I started giving mock tests, individual exam, individual tests mm -hmm. for quantitative reasoning and logical reasoning and also for my English. Being from ICSE helped me here and I was able to score good marks in my mock test in English with very minimal preparation, hmm. but logical reasoning and quantitative aptitude took a lot of effort and a lot of preparation. Hmm. And that is where I understand that that is where I believe it helped to change my strategy from not focusing much on these subjects to trying to improve myself in these subjects. I did a lot of CAT practice tests and I believe that if I could clear CAT reasoning questions, then I would be able to do the same in RBI also. Since you're talking about CAT, you mentioned it. Uh, many students have a perception hai that CAT level, CAT is one notch higher, let's say, uh, than RBI and we don't have to do that much level. We can focus on banking level. We can go for shortcuts rather than understanding. What is your take on this? This is the same fault that I did while preparing. I used to believe that the paper for RBI would be pretty simple. But that is not the case. I realized very soon that my preparation was in, inadequate. And that is when I realized that I have to prepare for the paper at the same level as CAT. So I borrowed my seniors CAT preparation books and then used to solve them. Hmm. And that really helped. You were talking about revision and memorization when we were discussing about your strategy. Can you uh, talk in detail about these two aspects that you worked upon after your first attempt. So revision and memorization are a key aspect of preparation. So I used to create notes for every week's current affairs and write them down. And at the end of every week, every Saturday, I used to go through these notes and try to memorize as much as I can. Then at the end of the month, I used to go through the whole month's note. And this used to continue for every month while in between whenever I felt like I had some time at my hand, I used to go through the notes again. So before even appearing for the examination, I had gone through my current affair notes at least five to six to eight times. And that helped to consolidate all of the information into my head. So I was not unsure about an answer. Mm. I was exactly sure 
what was the right option and that helped me a lot so you were talking about note making note making did you use uh, paper and pen to make notes ya fir online banaye and if you made online digital notes kyunki bahut sare students banate hain so what did you uh, why did you use online platforms for making notes um i did not use paper and pencil to make notes i used a digital notebook one note to make my digital notes they provided two benefits one if there is any information that i want to amend agar meri koi definition galat hai so i don't have to write a new note i can just amend it there itself and second that it is very easy for me to go through my notes again because after one year of preparation you have a large amount of notes and let's suppose you want to know the meaning of a of a term you don't have to go through multiple pages to search it hmm. you can just control f and find it very easily hmm. so that provided a lot of ease and convenience hmm. i could also add uh, images and information into my notes and hyperlinks to something that was not readily or easily understandable or video links so that helped me a lot uh, normally note making se uh, logo ka perception hi hota hai students ka that you are wasting a lot of time if you if you are involving yourself into note making and you were working simultaneously so how did you manage both these things together i mean studying and working specifically spending so much time on making notes what was your routine like and how much time were you spending on note making um in the morning my routine was uh, my routine was very very stringent in the morning i used to wake up at 8 and i used to go out for a little run then i used to come back get ready have my breakfast and by 10 i used to be in office then office work interacting with my colleagues and then finishing my work off by 6 6:30 after coming back home i used to straight go into studying and it was easier for me to study at a stretch in the evenings so after a strong uh, a long hour um, a long session of studying till 10 10:30 i used to have dinner and after that i used to again study for 2 to 3 hours mm. and ending my night at 1 1 1 o'clock mm. um during this time it helped me that i was working as an it professional and typing was my bread and butter Hmm. so writing notes didn't feel like a chore to me it was as easy for me to write type notes instead of writing them on pen writing them using pen and paper so making notes helped me in a lot of ways i could only select the information that i deemed important hmm. and while revising i don't have to go through 100 pages of pdf i had 25 concise pages which contained all the information that i needed and they were much more quicker and much more efficient to go through hmm. also while writing notes you realize the important points and while typing them you memorize them subconsciously so that also helps in my preparation uh coming to phase 2 especially the answer writing part you got very good marks in answer writing so what actually helped you score such good marks in answer writing what did you do specifically to make that happen as a working professional i didn't had much time at my hands so instead of writing full fledged 600 words 500 words essays i used to create points 150 words 7 to 8 points about any descriptive answer that i want to do and then in my head i used to think how i can connect these points how i can create a narrative that would be the best way to express my thoughts i i did this activity to create good points and trying to express myself but at the same time i knew that just writing points won't be enough so in the final leg of my preparation i wrote full fledged answers as well and i did a large number of answers on each and every esi topic i could find and for finance and management topics i could find uh coming to english now english descriptive uh, your preparation of essay writing has been much more compre- comprehensive than a lot of other students so what exactly was your preparation uh, of essay writing like kya kiya how did you evaluate your answers uh, you were telling me that you took your sister's help as well so how did that work out what exactly happened there first thing that i did 
was go through a lot of model essays. I used your sources and a few other sources available online to understand what an what a perfect answer supposed to contain. And then I tried to mimic that answer. Your sessions on YouTube also helped a lot. I used Google Docs to write my answers and I used my sister's help to vet those answers. And the beauty of this is that I can write the answers whenever I have time and she can go through it, comment out my mistakes and then provide suggestions. And while working or while I am not in a very busy environment, I can go through her comments, try to think of better points and then improve upon my answers then and there. So this helped me in refining my answers at the same time. While I was preparing and revising for my answer writings, I had a collection of answers that I had written, which were refined and which had a lot of information in them that was easy for me to go through and memorize. Coming to the interview now, you've got amazing marks in interview 61 on 75. That's probably one of the best marks that we've seen so far. So interview may, uh, what exactly happened? Uh, because uh, you told me they, they, they asked you questions from a variety of areas. You being so young, just 23 years old, how did you manage to answer those questions? What helped you in, <coughs> in your interview prep? Interview was a totally different uh, ball game, I would say, because it is like an open-ended discussion and it can take whatever direction. So you have to be very, very prepared for anything that can be asked. I had a few major points that I wanted to express. One being related to my nature of work. I knew a few questions would be asked from this domain. So I studied extensively about FinTech, the RBI policies and regulations, and how does RBI maintain the different sectors of Indian economy. The second question would be related to my hobbies and the third question would be related to technology. And I prepared for all these answers uh, beforehand. I took my friends help to conduct mock interviews. I asked for their opinions and I also did mirror. I also talked to myself in the mirror to modulate my voice to keep eye contact. And that helped me a lot. What do you think is the reason behind uh, 61 on 75 and not 16 on 75. What were the defining moments that you can remember from your interview? There were a few questions that were unexpected and I believe how I handled those questions was the defining moment. There was a question about use of 5G technology in banking and I honestly didn't read too much about it. But I asked the interviewer for some time to gather my thoughts to create points and then speak out those points in a structured and well formatted doc in a well format. The interviewer also asked me questions about the financial pillars of Indian economy. I structured my thoughts and then expressed them. So I believe that structuring of thought and having that subconscious habit of creating points, formulating them and then picking out the best points to express your view do help you in your interview preparation. My last question, uh, if you have any message to the future aspirants, anything that you have learned in your journey, you would want to express to them, tell them, what would that be? I would say to the aspirants that it is very easy in your journey to feel burnt out. You would be preparing for weeks and weeks on ends, but you cannot continue that. It is not sustainable. So it would be best if you can have a hobby, if you can have some sort of reprise where you can go and let out your steam. For me, that was physical activity. And I also had a habit of doing fine arts at least once in 10 days or two weeks. So that helped to keep me focused, to keep me on track and I can get back to my education. I can get back to my preparation with renewed energy. So don't feel burnout and hope for the best. Wonderful. I have a book for you. Uh, uh, you told me that you read sci-fi, but I think you might like this one. 
uh, the name of the book is Think Again by Adam Grant. I read this, I think, two, two and a half years back. Loved the way he thought. So uh, some thoughts from me uh, for you. I uh, hope that you like it. Uh, write something here. So based upon the personality, I hope I'm not wrong. Uh, I've written a perfect combination of IQ and EQ. I hope uh, uh, you like it. Thank you. So that's uh, all we have in this session of uh, RBI interview series. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful time uh, listening to Saurabh, his strategy, uh, how a young person can also clear RBI examination with determination and the right approach towards the examination. Despite his failure in his first attempt, he did not give up. He understood his mistakes, worked upon them, and finally made it to RBI in his second attempt. For any confusions, any doubts, any questions, anything at all, you can mention it in the comment section below. I'll see you again very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.